In this example, we want to find the equation of the line that is tangent to the graph of x cubed and parallel to the to the line that you see there. Okay. So again, the key here is that we want to find the tangent line that has a slope, okay, parallel uh, to this line. So we need to go ahead and uh, write this in the form of y equals mx plus b, and so that, that way we can identify the slope of this line. So this is going to be minus y equals to negative 12x minus 6. So we can divide through by negative, so that's going to give us y equals to 12x plus 6. Okay, So that's in y equals mx plus b form. Okay, So from here, uh, we can go ahead and identify the slope. Okay, So the slope of this line is 12. Okay, So now, going back to our function, Okay, we can take, right, or we can use the derivative, okay, and we can take the derivative and set it equal to the slope, and that will give us the location of where this tangent line is to the graph of f. Okay, All right, so we're going to, okay, so we're going to take the derivative, okay, or we're going to set the derivative of f. Okay, so we're going to take the derivative of f with respect to x and then set that equal to 12. Okay, okay so we're going to get 2x, or actually, sorry, um, that's x cubed, not x squared. Okay, so it's x cubed. Okay, so this is going to be, uh, so using the power rule, we're going to get 3x squared equals to 12. Okay, so solving this, okay, we're going to get x squared equals to 4, and therefore x is going to be plus or minus 2. So that tells us there's two tangent lines, because we have two x values here. Okay, so to give us an understanding of what's going on here, uh, let's look at the graph of this, of x cubed. Okay, so x cubed looks something like this, something in general, okay. Okay, so, um, so we have uh, negative 2, so minus 2, let's say, or let's say 2 is here, negative 2 is over here, okay, so we have a tangent line at this point, and, an, and a tangent line going through this point, okay, okay, so those, right, so these are, uh, both of these tangent lines have the same slope, okay? So that they're parallel to each other, okay? All right, because they have the same slope of 12. So now we can go ahead and uh, find the equation of those tangent lines. Okay, so the first point, okay, so that looking at, the, at this tangent line, Okay, the point here is going to be at 2, 8, because we simply evaluate 2 into our function of x cubed, and we get 2, 8. Same thing for this point. We plug in minus 2, so we take minus 2 cubed, we're going to get negative 8. Okay. All right, so we have, okay, so we have the two points. So we can go ahead and find the uh, equate find this, the equations for those tangent lines. Okay. So the equation of the tangent line uh, 
going through I say going through two eight. Okay, so we have the slope, okay, and we have the point. So using the, uh, we, or we can go ahead and use the point slope form. So y minus y1 equals to uh, m times x minus x1. So again, this is x1, this is y1, okay. And our slope was 12. Okay, so we have y minus 8 equals to 12 times x minus 2. So this is going to simplify to give us y equals to 12 times x minus 2 plus 8. So that's going to give us y equals to 12x minus 24 plus 8. So that is going to give us y equals to 12x minus 16. Okay. So that is the equation of the tangent line going through 2, 8. Okay, going through this point. All right. So now let's find the equation of the tangent line going through the other point of negative 2, negative 8. Okay. So same idea here, but different, uh, different point. Equation of the tangent line. Going through minus two, negative eight. Okay. All right, so we have our point. Um, and we have our slope. So again, using, uh, this time what I'll do is I'll use the other form. Okay, I'll use the point, I'm sorry, the uh, slope intercept form. Okay. Just to, you know, show you that even if you use this form, you'll still, you know, you'll get the, um, you'll still get the same result. Okay. All right. It still works here. So this is going to be x1, y1. Okay, um, so now, so this is my, so really I should say this is, well, this is going through the point on the, on the curve, right? So I'll just, since I'm using the slope intercept form, I'll just call this x and y. Okay, and we know our slope, our slope was 12. So we have negative 8 equals to 12 times x, which is minus 2, plus b. Okay, so we're going to get minus 8 equals to negative 24 plus b. Okay, so, so b is the y-intercept of this, uh, for this equation of the tangent line. So b is going to be uh, minus 8 plus 24. So that's going to give us uh, 16. Okay, so that means the equation of our tangent line is going to be y equals 2, 12x plus 16. Okay, so for the first um, tangent line, it has a y-intercept of minus 16. Okay, and the second tangent line has a y-intercept of uh, 16. Okay. Okay, sixteen comma uh, zero comma sixteen. Okay, and the other one and the first one has a y-intercept of zero comma negative sixteen. Okay. All right. So those are our uh, two tangent lines. Okay, they both have a slope of of twelve. Okay, so that means right they are parallel, as I indicated in the beginning. Um, and they have different y-intercepts as expected. Okay.